Civil 3D is built around intelligent objects that are real-world engineering components such as points, surfaces, alignments, profiles, etc. These objects have relationships between one another. They have a dynamic link so that changes in one object will affect changes in other objects. For example, if you change a point elevation of a point that is being used by a surface, the surface will automatically be updated to reflect that elevation change. A change in the location of an alignment will also update a profile associated with that alignment. Let's look at some of these objects. I've opened up the user guide in the Civil 3D Help System. I've gone to this section on understanding objects and styles. Let's look at that a little bit. Here's a list of the objects that are in Civil 3D. First we have points. Points define a location of something in a drawing and usually have attributes such as northing, easting, latitude, longitude, elevation, description, and number. Point groups are collections of points in your drawing and you can define the contents of the point group. This is a way to organize your points in your drawing. Point groups are also used to control the way that points are displayed in your drawings. Point clouds consist of many points contained from high-density scanning operations. Next there are parcels. Typically parcels are used to represent real estate parcels, but they can also be used to show areas of closed polylines, such as for wetland areas, drainage basins, or geological formations. Next there are surfaces. Surfaces are 3D representations of some sort of terrain in your drawing. You create and define surfaces from collections of points, break lines, boundaries, point files, point clouds, AutoCAD entities, DEM files, and contours. Surfaces can be automatically created from other Civil 3D design objects like corridors and grading groups and may consist of several of these surfaces combined into one surface. Alignments are also known as horizontal alignments. Since Civil 3D 2010, there are four types of alignments. Center line alignments, offset alignments, curb return alignments, and miscellaneous alignments. Gradings are used to design our site gradings such as building pads, detention ponds, parking lots, berms or swales. The gradings are used to create the proposed surface and to balance site cut and fill. A profile view is the way that we display or present our profiles. Profile views consist of the grids and annotation of the grids that we see associated with profiles. Profiles are also shown as vertical alignments and define the vertical component along a horizontal alignment. Feature lines are used in grading to represent the 3D location of features in your design. Sample lines are to specify where you will show cross-section cuts along an alignment. From the sample lines we are able to derive materials calculations. Section views are like profile views in that they are the way that we display our sections. Sections are what Civil 3D cross-sections show cuts along a linear feature such as the center line of a road. The mass hall view is the way to display the mass hall diagram. Mass hall lines are used to create a mass hall diagram that specify the earthwork quantities along an alignment. Pipes show our pipe network and structures are the node structures in our pipe networks such as manholes, inlets, or catch basins in our pipe networks. A pipe network represents a model of the utility system, such as a storm drain or sanitary sewer systems, and is composed of pipes and structures. Pipe interference checks show how there might be interference between structures and pipes in our pipe networks. An assembly is a collection of sub-assemblies. Engineers call assemblies typical cross-sections. Corridors are flexible 3D models of the roadway, railway, 
or some other linear design feature and is composed of alignments, profiles, and assemblies. Subassemblies are merely the components of the assemblies. Things like lanes, curb structures, sidewalks, ditches, and daylighting into existing ground. Intersections allow us to automatically create models of corridor intersections. Sites are collections of objects including alignments, feature lines, grading groups, and parcels that interact with one another. Please note that the only objects that can be in a site are alignments, feature lines, grading groups, and parcels. A building site is created when bringing objects from Autodesk Revit. Survey networks are networks of survey points or traverses in a drawing. Survey figures are representations of the relationship between survey points and may be 2D or 3D and can be edited. Survey figures behave and are edited in a way that is very similar to feature lines. View frames and match lines are used for plan production purposes. View frames show the plan view of where we're cutting our drawings and the match line shows where the two view frames intersect. So these are the objects in a civil 3D drawing. Again, they have this dynamic relationship. When one object changes, another object that might be using that object changes as well.